Oh. Those uh, are my favorite radio stories. I love those when everything those, gets those nuts ball things that all of a sudden yeah. it's like, oh, it worked. Yeah. And you know, know what? <laughs> but it did. We're keeping it. <laughs> okay, dude. Let's uh, shuffle off into mailbag. Oh, God. Again, it seems like we do this every week. And yes, we do. No. Oh. I'm glad you're that self aware. I'm not <laughs> so here's an update to a stories we've been covering for years can you guess what it is ma'am and mum nope yet another mysterious monolith has appeared oh my god not again this one on. a... aliens <laughs> well this is a closed circuit for all the aliens out there <laughs> hello not, not you illegal ones not you legal ones yeah don't care the ones from other planets them guys stop it Okay, yes. it's old. We're heavy. It's like, you know, when someone mails us, we want them to have a creative beatdown. Yes. Yeah, come up with something else. Okay. Well, this, this one put a is... pyramid on its point somewhere <laughs> it's never been. Uh, let's, I'd like to suggest something that might fill the holes put of clothes Congress. on models. <laughs> Actually, put yeah. clothes on models while they're eating food. There we go. And make Beans it something original and make it something Italian. <laughs> I mean, the food. So yes. Lori Graves, the owner of a dairy farm, tells KDVR people are coming into her cafe since last weekend asking, where's the monolith? Where's the alien monolith? Shiny structures, eight feet tall, four feet wide and eight inches deep. According to Fox News, some are apparently speculating the monolith was put Sounds up as like a most prank. basketball players. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> <sighs> put up. They think it was put up as a prank to mess with a local who's interested in conspiracy theories and extraterrestrial life, but nothing's been confirmed. It's huge mm. and it's heavy. Considering where it is at the top of uh, that hill, that's hard to climb up. You slip and slide a little, and there are cactus all over. <laughs> One wonders how they got it up there. If anybody had an easy time getting it there, it would be the aliens. How about yeah. make like a wind farm work? Yeah. Oh, better yet, make a wind farm work and make it not the ugliest thing on the planet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And make it not kill migrating birds. That would help. By the way, speaking of birds, the birds' flocks, lives matter. The flocks of turkeys around our place are getting huge. You live in a city, man. I know. Of course, the we have black bears wandering around our town now and again. Exactly. So. <laughs> this is the way it is. Oh, what well, a science freaking fiction pi film. Science again, we are. Film. Which one is it? Is it The Blob with Steve McQueen? I wish. <laughs> cold. That's cold. That would be. Remember that? <laughs> oh, do you it realize Steve McQueen explosion. had jobs before it was cool? Yeah. <laughs> and that was one of them. Yep, the blob. I watched yep. the whole thing. I, I always, I have watched it more than once, I'm sad to say. <laughs> and I enjoyed it more than once, so bite me right here. <laughs> and we'll like it. So, uh, you ready? Stroke Survivor develops French accent. We've heard of these before. Yep. 21 so they're speaking fluent swahili yeah and 20, they've never been past new jersey right speaking of which a 21 year old jersey well, athlete. Be funny as if someone had a stroke and spoke new jersey <laughs> yeah i got your accent right or here. if someone in new jersey spoke english but that <laughs> i'm kidding please no hate mail unless you send it to scott speaking of jersey a 21 year old jersey athlete not the jersey you're thinking of the one in england Oh, where the Jersey girl thing was from. He said, I am determined to make a full recovery after a stroke left me speaking like a French accent. Right? I don't know. I went to the Tony Verkhoff School was that? of Accents. It was French. Oh, even my accents can't be that bad. <laughs> they can't. They're not that good. I bet. Of course, you know, <laughs> this means. Yes. Yes, I do know. What is that from? Bugs Bunny. Yes. 
Jack Allen apparently was sparring mixed martial arts at the universe at a university in the UK when a kick to the jaw caused a brain bleed. Two weeks before he was able to talk, and when he did, he said, <laughs> Now get away, or I shall taunt you a second time for the first time. Oh, Monty no, Python he came reference. out speaking Monty Python. <laughs> On his return to Jersey, Some of their Mr. Stuff Allen doesn't age very well, by the way. What? Some of Python stuff does not age well. Which? However, the two man Paul Bearing Championship shall that go down. That is hilarious. As... Upper class twit of the year just, is pretty good. I just want to know how they did the two man Paul Bearing Championships in London <laughs> because I'm sure they weren't big enough to actually have them, you know, stop traffic. So there the next two mozos are in yep. London. Yep. Which is always busy. It's like it's a large city. Yeah. And they're carting a casket. <laughs> it's amazing. I also Sorry. like the funniest joke in the world. That does that still plays, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, that would work. Yeah. Anyway, on his return to Jersey, Mr. Allen Salty Towers just feels a little dated when I watch it. Oh, that's not yes. really Monty Python, though, is it? No, no, that's John and his I mean, uh, ex wife. It's. Ex-wife? Idiot. Yeah, Polly. Polly is was his, and he were married at that time. The blonde. He was married to Sweet Polly Purebred. No, no, you're jumping shows. Same show. John and his real life wife wrote Faulty Towers together. Okay. His real life wife played the maid. Yeah. In Faulty Towers. Yeah. Polly Purebred. <laughs> Google it. It'll help you out. <laughs> On his return to Jersey, Mr. Allen's speech therapist diagnosed him adroitly with foreign accent syndrome. Wow. There's a genius. Says, uh, describing his discover, uh, discovery, describing his recovery process, Mr. Allen said, On top well, of learning how to talk again, I had to change my accent back to the normal accent I had before. When I'm tired or angry, it kind of slips out. <laughs> He turns to his friends and says, you English pig dogs. <laughs> Thanksgiving one, you know, when he's an old man, let's go irritate grandpa. Oh, I, just wait. You'll love it. <laughs> it he just, starts swearing, but it comes in French. It, it's just this poor guy. But he's trying to, and they say that he should be okay to go back to his bar. Huh. So all's well that ends French. It's like one of the TV shows. Remember the cute little, they played her as an Indian doctor back in the ER days <clears throat> gave George Clooney his start. Um, okay. Didn't do much for Margulies. No, no, it did not. No. Julia, uh, but Anthony, she ended up in another show. She was really good. She did. Anthony, uh, the good wife, yeah. Anthony, David, Anthony, um, Bourdain goose. Oh yeah. The guy who played goose in, Thailand. um, you know, some of them Edwards. that worked for, some of them didn't Maureen, yeah. Tur is it Maureen Turney? The British actress who played the the doctor that fell in love with Anthony's character. And anyway, this lovely, and I can't think of her name now, and I had it written down last night. She stars in a TV show now called D.I. Ray on the BBC. Oh, okay. I haven't seen that one yet. And they're doing this. They have one, one of the suspects has a hearing aid, but is pretty much functionally deaf. He can kind of hear the sounds and the words if they're loud enough. Okay. And so she will sign some things to make sure he gets it. And as she walks out, her her detective, her detective, what are they? Yeah, detective sergeant looks yeah. at her and goes, you can sign. I learned a little bit when I was younger. Now all I can do is really swear. So she learned from my mom. <laughs> Apparently. So the first German words I ever learned at home. <laughs> Couldn't remember the rest, but that. Really? Did you say Schweinhund a lot? N no. Well, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I did never understand why a pig dog was. I said, Schweinhund. That just seems odd. I think there was a different word there. <laughs> so, yes, Ronnie Tucker sent this, uh, this thing in. And I think the headline is kind of amazing. So he was ready? sleeping on corduroy pillows again. A Moldavian minister has been arrested for performing black magic on President Muizu. Or Muizu. 
That doesn't sound good. No. But his question is, how do you even prove it? No, mostly first in the world we live in today, I want to know what they consider black magic. Oh, right. And they, they don't say what he did to him. See, they, they don't say that anything was done at all. I mean, he could have got baptized and it was, oh, they put yeah. water on him. They tried to drown him in a pool. <laughs> yeah. And he came up and he was different. <laughs> now, you need to know. No, I don't. Black magic or sorcery is not a criminal offense in the Maldives. However, it does have a six-month prison sentence under Islamic law. Once again, I just got done watching Game of Thrones, dude. <laughs> you want to see black magic? <laughs> okay, so note from Jessica Thompson. Hi, fellas. Here's one about people who need better hobbies. Enjoy. Canadian pet chicken identifies letters, numbers to break world record. That's not a bad hobby. <laughs> and you spend quality time with lunch. The um, oh, lunch. I think that, see what she the way she trained them is their job was uh, was only to peck the number or letter I taught them to peck and ignore the other ones. Yet she's calling these chickens smart. Well, no, she's habituated. She's habituated them to something. You can habituate a goldfish. And by the way, if 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 you create a steering mechanism, they can drive across a room. A goldfish. That's an old story. The goldfish. Remember the goldfish in the tank? Yeah. And they figured out they could get it to move by doing certain stuff. Yeah. They drove across the room. Well, I wouldn't call it driving. <laughs> well, they didn't swim, but they got across the room. Yeah, they got across the room there. Anyway, she had all her chickens attempt the Guinness That's World. That's true. It wasn't. It wasn't walking. No, because it was rolling. No right. Yeah. One of the chickens, Lucy, emerged as a clear winner of the flock, correctly identifying six letters, numbers, and colors in one minute. But again, this is habituation. I don't think this is it making a decision. It's not like when you say to an African gray parrot, go get the blue plastic key. And it goes and, and says, gets the... And he says, ah, get it yourself. <laughs> get it yourself, Bob. You've got legs. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> which means it was trained by my wife exactly what, what is wrong with you okay so is this habituation okay try ski mask wearing naked weirdo is chasing people in alabama read that again ski mask wearing naked weirdo can we say weirdo how do they know it's a weirdo is well he's a ski mask wearing naked person that's a little weird Preliminarily, then, is chasing people in Alabama. <laughs> Two small communities are being plagued by a bizarre creature of the night. A man wearing a ski mask. With Colonel Mustard. Nothing else. <laughs> well. He comes charging out of the night at unsuspecting people. Sometimes he just scares them. On other occasions, he has actually chased people yelling decidedly uncomfortable threats. <clears throat> thus far, I'm going to give you such a hug. Thus, the, uh, the scary, actually, the disturbing part is he's not a newcomer to the area. Some locals say they've seen him wreak havoc for at least the last four years. Hmm. The questions, of course, being asked are, who is he and why hasn't you caught him yet, Ossifer? Yeah. Please. And thank you. Wow. That's I thought I was weird. You I am now perfectly normal. <laughs> so one of our neighbors with uh, little kids right across the street, they have the cutest little kids. Uh, she went to the park with the littlest one uh, that's just a few blocks from our house. And um, there was a what she thought was a teenager there, an older teenager, acting weird. So, and kind of watching them and kind of shuffling close to them and stuff. And she would move away and, you know, take the, her daughter, then put her on the slide and just never let her out of her sight for any reason. And then the kid disappears. On her way home, there's the cop car. 
And there's the kid naked as a jaybird. <laughs> Poodles. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's when you want to carry around spray paint. Ooh, ooh, no! You want to carry uh, the fire, the the um, spray that spray pepper spray. Yes, because and you don't spray it in their eyes. Don't. Well, you could start yeah. there. Yeah, spray it on their junk and work your way elsewhere. Because <laughs> pepper spray on the south end of a northbound weird person is. Well, pepper spray on the south end of a northbound anybody is is just not shall good. we say uncomfortable. Yep. Yep. I want one of those pepper ball launchers. So if anybody tries to break into my house, I can just shoot them in the chest and they'll sit there snot everywhere. Then then they're not going to die, but they're going to wish they did. Yeah, but only for, you know, like 10 minutes, half hour, give or take cops will get there. But by that time, I'll have, you know, trust up. Please say, by the way, now that they have video of him, he (laughs) he chased someone who had a camera in her apartment. Um. Now that they have a video of them, they say it's just a matter of time. That's what they always, even in the bad cop shows, that's what they say. Can you imagine pulling in the usual suspects saying, all right, everybody drop trial. Ma'am, are these any other men? That Can you identify to- this suspect? <laughs> Actually, all they've got to go on now is, oh, he does wear more than just a ski mask. He wears shoes. Oh. So if they're going to, so whatever you do, don't find out what kind of shoes he wears and don't buy those. Because <laughs> cause it could be you, pal. Oof. And the identification process would be, shall we say, uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, look, that one has Peroni's disease. It's him. Wow, Monty Python and Peroni's disease in one mailbag. This is good. Is it? Sh- shall I move really? on? Shall I move Please. on to the comments? Please. Please. Apropos, if this is true, really news episode eight seven five from our man in Liverpool, Patrick Reed. By the way, Patrick, I apologize. After watching another season of D, I listened really close when they say "ma'am," and it still comes out "mom," "mom," but it comes out "mom," not "mom." Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So and that's mom, what he's- so mom is mom, and ma'am is mom. <laughs> <laughs> Governor Let's call the whole governor. thing off. <laughs> and Maya's move. Uh, <laughs> so that's hey, what he was I'm getting saying. There. I don't speak British. That that's what he was saying. You were missing. You were missing that little. Yeah. Now I've got thing. that. Thank now you, you should take on Chinese, another tonal language. No. And, anyway, Patrick tells us that M E P, MEP, which you misidentified as something else entirely. MEP. Yeah. Stands for Member of European Parliament. The hell? And you said it was, you know, Member of Empire Pants or something. You were, you made light of it. Mixed your erotic potion. <laughs> yes, that's probably it. No, that wasn't it. Also, apropos of this is true. Mighty evil person. There we are. Which, by the way, is better than what Patrick had. Yes. Well, it may not be true, but it's much more self-descriptive. <laughs> Carry on. This is True Really News episode 875 again. Uh, we've done 875 episodes? Wow. We've done more than that. Don't try and don't try and depress me today. I started <laughs> off with a good day. Go ahead. <laughs> this, this from Patrick Reed, our man in Liverpool. 23 sets of twins. Mm. That's 58% of something. Hang on. <laughs> we got to do the math. Yep. yep. It's, we think. We're close to anyway. I mean, yeah. if you round it up, it's 58%. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I know. I was, Every time I see the notes on that, it's like, <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> oh, Vegas it's got to be astronomical. Vegas would have lost their shirt, which means, you know, nothing would have happened to any of the showgirls. Exactly. Maybe they had to have they'd have to give up their tassels. That would make them like a nudie bar and me. <laughs> see that in small town Minnesota. <laughs> yeah, right. Um apropos, this is true really news episode. Hang on. Anybody, Mankato, someplace else still up? Is someplace else still open? 
Okay, go ahead. I don't know if someplace else is still. Boy, and I have been through Mankato in the not in just the past few years. I wouldn't know. Never been to someplace else. No, nope. I was there once. Um, I liked Ron Linder until then. <laughs> Apropos, this is True Really News, episode 875. That's three in a row on 875. What have we done? From my brother, Chris Combs. No relation. Uh-oh. Scott leading with another poop story. Yeah, yeah. Well, you wait till next week, pal. You'll get yours. His poop story? Probably. Odds are. <laughs> I mean, we're talking 58% or better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I would think the full 58%. Let's, uh, I can be watching Game of Crowns now. You realize that Game of Crowns, nice Game of Thorns, Crown of Thorns, <laughs> Game of Thrones. There we go, Throne of Crowns. Like me. <laughs> oh, wait, I forgot one. What, what, what? It's the most importantest one of the, the mailbag. Okay, do it. Burt Ward has received the President's Lifetime Achievement Award for rescuing more than 15,000 pets. <gasps> Burt, who knew? He played Robin on the Batman series. He was Robin he on the old kitschy Batman show. Yeah. Bam, which, I know, pow. which is hard to watch. Because it, was, it was 60s camp. No, that's a, that's Laverne and Shirley. Um, the Schlamazel. The former boy wonder who's now old uh, uh -huh. said he and his wife want to leave the planet better off than when we found it. Well, dude, you did that with Batman. Yeah, well, or you could just go take out Congress right now. And I, I don't mean anything violent. No. I want you to tickle them until they we just make them re-watch old batman shows till they there we go become good i'd like that see not only did you rescue batman for the rest of us to enjoy now he's rescued all these pets too what a sweet guy he's made the he's made the planet a better place holy gobsmacks batman well, i was gonna go with holy humanitarian batman but sure whatever 